commercial uh, blue acrylic paint that has been mixed with uh, a formulation and this is an oil and water formulation and I will put down the components uh, but and the amounts but uh, dibenzilidine sorbitol as a non-ionic surfactant stearic acid propylene glycol water sodium lauryl sulfate and uh, in there as well, propylene glycol and a renewable petrolatum. I make synthetic petrolatums from renewable materials. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, bring it up uh, separately, the aqueous and the uh, organic layers. Um, heat them up to 70, 75 degrees and then very slowly add the oil to the water with vigorous stirring until it congeals. And uh, that uh, is one uh, formulation. The petrolatum is, um, that I used actually was prepared uh, about three weeks ago and it contains linseed oil. So as a result, these particles you're seeing there are dried linseed oil, essentially uh, polymerized thin film. And that creates the stucco effect when I apply it to the feed stock, uh, the uh, cardstock. I use Bristol about 140 pounds and uh, I'm very impressed with this microscope and uh, I'm then able to watch capture footage, JPEG or video and then I can come back in a day, a week, a month and after subjecting the surface to uh, for example, variables like ultraviolet light, I can inspect and see. At the same time, I can turn this around and I can look at the back of the feedstock. Now, uh, because I'm using the acrylic paint, if I put a thin wash, I did not hear a thin wash of an acrylic of uh, choice, in this case, blue. If I apply that, that will dry and prevent seepage of the petrolatum. I'm not seeing any so far, which is a good thing. But uh, I recommend this uh, digital microscope for the price. I'm using it with my Mac. I had it up and running in two minutes. I'm using Panopto as a recorder. You can download from their website. Uh, there's a link where you can download uh, recording software. You can use this supposedly with PC. Um, you can use it with the uh, Chrome browser. You can use it with Raspberry Pi, supposedly, and with certain iPhones. You'll have to go to their website. I'll list it and find out uh, what they claim it will work with. But I'm having no trouble at all. And it comes with a stand. And as I said, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, let's see if I can find another very quickly. Here's uh, a different formulation with acrylic. And uh, I'll have to adjust this uh, on the fly. There we are. And now I'll give you an idea of uh, the capabilities of this. Of course, I'm moving the microscope, but I would uh, have to put a little more time into focus. But that will give you an idea. Uh, you can see particles, imperfections, and it depends on the brush as well, the type of brush you're using. I use a flat brush or a bristle brush, but then I can see uniformity of application if I'm getting deposits. Propylene glycol is very good. Uh, it's well known to assist in uh, brushability of paint formulations. Thanks for watching. I'll be uploading more extensive videos on my synthetic petrolatum materials, uh, oil and water emulsions. Uh, you can use this, of course, with watercolor or gouache, which is water-based. And indeed, I've used oil-based paints as well with these formulations, but uh, I'm going to focus on the acrylic. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.